All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. I'll buy Shem, I'll buy Shem, I'll buy Shem, I'll buy the bonus of the apostles and others a great millstone. Shalom, one to the I cannot to push the word of sincerity and truth. Yeah, and I just want to do this lesson on etiquette. <clears throat> you know, proper etiquette within the body of, uh, you know, of, of the brotherhood. You know, as brothers in, in the ministry, we have to constantly exercise um, etiquette, man. Order, decorum, you know, knowing when to speak, when not to speak. Knowing what to say, how to say it, you know, um, Learning, uh, you know, the art of basically, like I just said, order and um, keeping yourself in line within the body, you know, and that's that's something that the masses of these people don't have, man. They don't understand um, respect. They don't understand order. You know, that's why they can't get with, get with the truth because they don't see, you know, they, they see leadership. They see organizations. You know, and a lot of those Jakes resist that because they, um, they're about living in a, a state, state of chaos. The scriptures call them brute beasts. You know, you see the nature of beasts. They, they do what they want. They uh, trample um, in different territory as, as they um, seem fit. You know, eat uh, whatever the hell they, they like to. And, and there's no order within their lives. You know, but what does the scripture says? Let everything be done decently. You know, de decently in order, First Corinthians fourteen and forty. Everything has to be done um, properly through the Spirit of Power. Yeah, how about Shemel and Shah? And like I said, I want to do this primarily. You know, even for brothers, you might be a brother that come in the truth, and you got the most to say. You know, or you know, brothers get together and they'll eat, and uh, you know, you'll have men that's you know the first in line. You know, without even letting the camp head eat. You know, sometimes guests, you have guests that come and everybody are eating and there's damn near no food left for the for the guests. You know, you forget about it. When you do stuff like that, that's that's niggerish, man. You know, the scriptures speak about being a nigger or somebody that's just selfish. And it's, it's also, scriptures also speak about how every man looking out for his own thing. We shouldn't just be looking out for ourselves, man. You know, we have to be a, a, a true sacrifice, you know. It's not always about what you want to say all the time. Sometimes Jake want to get their point across, you know, instead of listening, you know. And those all are aspects of etiquette. Etiquette is a powerful word, you know, and it's a real, you know, um, it's, it's, it's so much that comes with this term. And I'm going to read the definition. It says the customary code of polite behavior in society or among members of a particular profession or group. You see, um, yeah, and that's so true. A customary code of polite uh, behavior in a, a particular fashion in a profession or a group. Right, and we're in this, this body. And in this body, we, we have to understand the code of politeness, man. You know, you have to be polite to your brothers. You now your brother might be down, and it's even the etiquette or a way that you deal with him when he's uh, in a in a bad situation. You know, knowing how to comfort. Could you speak about comfort in the weak, uh, the feeble? You know, and um, like I said, a lot of, a lot of these people in the world they don't understand that concept, and that's why they just go off for the uh, the whim. But us brothers in the in the spirit of how about Shema with Shah, we know what the scriptures say. You know, the, the scriptures speak about how to deal with each other. You know, it speaks about when we're amongst each other, how we should uh speak, how we should commune, how we should fellowship. All right. And like I said, it, it's always a couple niggas in the midst that do the most, and that's why you gotta get up, stay on Jake ass, man. You know, when we first um, you know, we get together, you know, you will have certain certain men which they're not in the truth no more they'll make the biggest fucking plates man you know it might be a limited amount of food you know it might be 10 individuals and they'll have enough for 10 but the one individual got, got them their five uh you know the equivalent of five people on one fucking plate you know one of those goddamn wish i had uh one of those thumbnails i could put in a fucking pyramid place one of the motherfuckers if you walk and, and tip over on the damn near half the plate are gonna, is gonna fall off, but you still got enough still left even with half all. Like what kind of shit is that, man? 
That's niggerish, man. Like I said, that uh, uh, the scripture speak about that nigger. This is Proverbs 23 and 2. And put a knife to thy throat. Matter of fact, I'll start at 1. When thou sittest to eat with the ruler, consider diligently what is before thee. Right. So it's basically saying observe. Observe and use etiquette when you're amongst the, the uh, ruler. And we're, we're, we're a nation of kings and priests. Brothers are, you know, rulers and captains of 50s, captains of 20s, captains of 10. You know, you have your elders, you have your apostles. The scriptures speak about how they rule over us. You know, so, you know, it ain't talking about the white man in the Senate, man. It ain't talking about fucking round, you know, a round table banquet with, um, you know, elected officials. Talking about his brothers in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Rashad. It says, Consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat if thou be a man given to appetite. Right. So, it don't matter how hungry you are, you still have to know how to retain yourself. You know, you don't want to be the first one, you know, slotting those nubs in the, in the, in the uh, bucket of chicken, man. You know how Jake is. Jacob, Jacob, you know, get the greasiest piece of chicken and then chomp it down and lick the fingers and put put the hand right back in the bucket for seconds, man. Like, what the hell? And what is that? That's no etiquette. That's why I said etiquette is a powerful code and it's a conduct. It's the way you... Because it's, 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 it's really form of body language. It shows you you understand the, the re, you know, so, sociology, so to speak. You understand social behavior. You understand, uh, like I said, decorum, a form of order. And it says, be not desirous of his dainties, which the dainties are the meats, for they are deceitful meats. Yeah, and as, you know, in this segment, you know, talking about really uh, eating the things of Esau, because, you know, it, even though it's, it's at the upfront, it seems like it's there for your nutritional benefit, but at the same time, it's there to kill you. But the main thing I wanted was going to, to the, put the knife to our throat. You know, if you're a man given the appetite. Cutting your uh, cutting your appetite down, you know. And, and you know, just because you're hungry, you, you don't have to express so, too. You know? Hey, that's why a lot of times, you know, brothers will get together. And, and if we know it's a heavy night and there might be a lot of cooking and it might take hours to cook. I just cook before, uh, no, I just eat before I come around, which that's wisdom. You know, you eat so you ain't as hungry, and you, you know, you ain't around, you you bugging, bugging a uh, brother on the grill, poking him in the back of the shoulder like, hey, I, th those burgers done yet, you know? And then right when the first batch get done or something, you, 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 you leaping into it like a damn, like a damn pool, man. But that's why you got to structure etiquette. All right, etiquette is, and that's really a, a, you know, it goes into wisdom, wise man mentality, knowing the art of, like I said, what to apply. This is Sirach 18 and 30. Go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thy appetite. Right, so if you're hungry and you have an appetite, and that's for things in the world, it's even the etiquette how you deal in the world, man. You know, a lot of jakes deal, um, you know, commit crimes from lack of etiquette, lack of order. You know, like scripture said, the code of behavior dealing in, in politeness. You have to know how to deal polite and, and polite is a, being polite is a weapon. The scripture speak about sweet words to, uh, turn away wrath. It's an art to actually being polite. You know, and you can never go wrong, and you can be ne you can never be steered wrong with this, uh, you know, form of wisdom. So you know, it was a fairly um, short lesson I just wanted to go into that etiquette is, you know, like I said, this is extremely important, you know. So hopefully, brothers, was uh, edifying man. anybody giving all praise and glory to Yah, by Shemal, Shah, 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 by Shemal,